We are out here in the residential area of Lutz, and I want you to take a look at this. Behind me, there is a boom lift where a worker was trimming down some trees, but unfortunately struck a power line with his chainsaw. I grew up on the water boating, water skiing, water tubing with my family, but for this family, they will be kicking it into high gear this weekend for a boating competition in a race to the finish line. Thank you guys. We have three rounds of competition. One point is up for grabs in round one and two, and multiple points are on the line for round three. Fans are super excited, and they've come across Tampa Bay to meet here at the Tropicana Field to watch them play in their first game of the postseason. We are here outside the historic Vinoy House where you can see the owners have some serious green thumbs. But unfortunately, this place has become a recent target for some sticky fingers. Dmitry Papazov is the owner of the historic Vinoy House bed and breakfast. Okay. Over the past year and a half, he's found a thief conducting their own landscaping around his property. You don't expect the same person to come again and again and again for the flowers. He's planted signs, a fence, and even fake plants in addition to the security cameras, hoping to ward off the plant poacher. Despite his efforts, the thief returns once the flowers are regrown. There is no way to prevent it. Police are investigating the matter, and for now, the Vinoy House will be having fake plants hung up, as well as the real ones. Unemployment is down across the state of Illinois. In Bloomington, it's down about one and a half percent from one year ago. One Central Illinois Museum offers the public an opportunity to view the document of a former president. 